everybody it's good to see each and every one of y'all here you know we're going to praise the lord tonight but we're also going to be honoring excuse me we're also going to be honoring the scene cooks particularly mama jeanette cook there as it's her as it was her birthday actually on saturday you know she shares a birthday with my little niece jacy 
But yeah, we're going to be honoring her and the rest of the singing cooks, particularly her though, and uh, Hubert. Hubert's passed on, passed on in, uh, I think it was May of last year. But uh, anyway, before we get started, we always want to go to the Lord in prayer. Dear precious Heavenly Father, Lord God, we come to you in the precious name of Jesus. We praise you and we thank you, Lord God, for another chance to gather together in your name here over Facebook tonight, Lord God. Lord God, may someone be blessed at this video tonight, Lord God, as we're trying to honor the singing cooks. Most of all, we're trying to honor you in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Praise you and we thank you for it all in Jesus' name. Amen.
Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, thank you, Lord, that we do have the opportunity to be there when you're crowned King of Kings and Lord of Lords. To me, in my heart, Lord God, you're already the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But to be there and see you crowned, Lord God, I thank God that I have the chance to be there. I thank you that I have the chance to be there. Whew, glory to God. Glory to God. Now this next song here, there's a lot of times we go through things in life. And let me try to get my cord untangled a little bit because it's all knotted up and tangled. But there's a lot of times we go through things in life and we don't know exactly where to go, who to turn to, and what have you. But if we just hold on just a little bit longer, we think, we're thinking about giving up. But if we just hold on just a little bit longer, Jesus will be there and he'll pull us right on out. Listen to the words of this song. By the way, before I start this one, all of the songs that are uh, being sang today, with uh, most of the songs that are being sang today are from the Singing Cooks' uh, I'll Be There album that they did several years ago. Uh, but actually, most of the songs that are on that album are songs that they have sung for years and years. And uh, like this one right here, Hold On Just a Little Longer. And um, there's a few of them that we're going to sing today that are not on that album. There's a couple of them that we're going to sing today that don't really have anything to do with the cooks. It's just the Thanksgiving, you know, and being right before Thanksgiving, we want to add something, you know, and say, thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me, and, you know. Songs that we're going to do is, uh, there's one by the McCain that says, I have been blessed. Uh, and then there is another one that we're going to do today, so much to thank him for. And those will be towards the end of the thing, because we mostly want to honor Mama Cook today. But this song here says, if you just hold on just a little bit longer, Jesus will be right there, and he'll help you out. Oh, come on. We just played that CD earlier. It's trying to act up on me. And stormy waters, and with a strong hand, 
see, but that's all I see. But howdy to everybody. It's good to see each and every one of y'all tonight. And uh, Laura and uh, Josh Wynn, they actually just got married this past Sunday. So we want to say congratulations to them. And we want to wish them a good and happy long life and long life and marriage together. Amen. And may God bless them. <clears throat> this next song here says that when we get to heaven, what we're going to do, you know, we're going to sing, we're going to shout, we're going to praise the Lord, we're going to meet all our loved ones, but we're going to have to take a break for just one second. You know what that break is? We're just going to have to stop long enough just so that we can put on our robe and crown. Amen. Well, there's somebody new I've not seen on here. Uh, Sister Kathy Campbell McDonnie. Good to see you tonight, amen? Welcome, welcome. My name is Samuel Hagley, if you don't know who I am. I am Samuel Hagley. The Lord blessed me, you know, with the ministry named Walk on Water Ministry. And uh, I'll tell you, actually, the name of this ministry is based on a song. Sorry. It's actually based on a song that talks about walking on water. And it was on the uh, Mark Lowry. Um, it was on the uh, Mark Lowry on Broadway video, and the Lord said, "Hey, this is going to be the name of your ministry." And so, if you go down to the bottom of the page, uh, if you go down to the bottom of the page, you'll see that song there. I think I've got a pin there, and uh, I forget the name of this, the two sisters that did it. Right? I don't remember right offhand. But God told me, this is going to be the name of your ministry, Walk on Water Ministry. And basically to me, the meaning of that is that when everything seems impossible, it's not physically possible for a man to walk on water, but yet Jesus did. And when Jesus called to Peter and he stepped out of the boat, Peter also walked on the water as long as he kept his eyes and his faith on and in the Lord. But the second that he took his eyes off of the Lord, he began to sink. And But then the Lord lifted him up. So that's that's the meaning of this. When it seems impossible, it, it's impossible for a man to walk on water. It's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. When it seems impossible, you say God. Just God. That's the meaning of the name behind this. That's, that's the meaning behind the name of this ministry. This is a mostly a music ministry. This is the gift that the Lord has blessed me with. Every once in a while he gives me a word to say, but I'm not a preacher or nothing. I, I am far from a preacher. But this is mostly a music ministry, and I pray that something that is said, is saying tonight, would be a ministry to your soul because most of all, even though we want to honor the singing cooks, we want to honor Mama Jeanette, you know, her birthday being Saturday. Even though we want to do that, even though we want to give thanks to the Lord for Thanksgiving, 
for everything to do with Thanksgiving. By the way, if you have anything that you're thankful for, feel free to leave that in the comments at any time during this video. Also, if you have a prayer request, feel free to leave that in the comments. You can private message Walk on Water Ministry on our message board. Uh, and I'm sure there's some other people that are on here that wouldn't mind to pray with you. But we would love to hear from you. If you've been blessed by anything in this uh, ministry tonight, we would love to hear from you. Anyways, God bless you. And this song here says, I'll just stop long enough to put on my robe and crown. You know, as we um, go through life, we have people that go on before us, okay, and we're actually going to sing a lot about that tonight. We have people that go on before us, and, you know, they're, they're saved, and, you know, we miss them. We miss them. And, you know, we, we worry about when they're passing. Are they going to suffer or this and that and yonder? 
And when it comes right down to it, when it comes to a saved person, yeah, we don't want them to suffer or nothing. But don't worry about them because they're going to a so much of a better place. They'll be so much better off than what you and I are. Sure, we're going to miss them. But would I, would I wish any of the ones that have went on before me back? No. No. But I do miss them. We all miss them. But when it comes time for the children of God to go on, when it comes time for them to go and be with Him, don't you worry about them. They're going to so much of a better place where they're not going to have any more heartache, no more pain, no more suffering. Nothing like that. Listen to the words of this song. It says, don't worry about me. I was thinking today about life here on earth. Thinking about over the years There's been a lot of heart Sorrow and pain There's been disappointment and tears There's also been joy And a deep set of peace That only the born again know Holy Spirit come please me Keeps me and feeds me That he gave me when he made me don't worry about me when it comes time to leave. I'm going to a far better place. On heaven's gold street, not made by hand, basking in love and in grace. I'll be singing his praises about he saved me with my Savior forever. I'll be. Blessed assurance for saints and lovers when he calls, don't worry about me. What pleasure I'll feel with Jesus, my friend, walking together each way. I face. I know there's a time, a place, and a day when my journey for home is complete. When my work here is done and the last song is sung, he'll call. Me. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me when it comes time to leave. I'm going to a far better place. Not made by hand, basking in love and in grace. I'll be singing his praises about he saved me with my Savior forever. I'll be all oh, his blessed assurance for saints and birds when he calls. Don't worry about me. All oh, his blessed assurance for saints and birds. there, Phyllis and Brother Ansel. Good to see you all tonight. Amen. You know, sometimes, again, we go through life and we feel like, you know, God's not there. And, you know, we feel like, you know, we're, we're waiting on an answer. But, you know, God answers. God always answers our prayers. And he, everybody always says it on God's time. Let me tell you something. Okay. You want to know when God's time is now? You want to know when God's time is now? God's timing is right now. That's God's time. Your healing or whatever it is, it may take time to manifest. But let me tell you, before you even asked it, God already took care of it. So it's not necessarily... And there are some times when 
I, I, don't, I'm gonna, I don't know, I feel this needs said. There is sometimes when you're asking God for something, and let me tell you something, sometimes you're the one that puts the blocker up. You keep saying in God's timing, in God's timing. Well, you know what? God's timing, He's already done it, so God's timing is for you to reach out and claim it right now. It may take time to manifest, but you, keep, you reach out and claim it right now. Don't keep saying in God's timing. Reach out and claim it right now. Because by saying in God's timing, you're saying, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold on. God, you're not ready yet. God, you're not ready to send this yet. And he's sitting there saying, uh-huh. I already told you in my word that it's already done. Ouch. He said, I already told you in my word that it's already done. And whatever it is that you need, but he knows before you even ask. He still wants you to ask, but he knows before you even ask. And you're the one putting that blocker up by saying, in God's timing, in God's timing. God, you're not, you're sitting there telling God, say, God, you're not ready yet. Hold up, you're not ready yet. Hold up, you're not ready yet. You're sitting there telling the one, the God Almighty, you're sitting there telling God Almighty, hold up, you're not ready yet. There's no way that you can be ready to bless me with this yet. There's no way that you can be ready to answer my prayer yet. But you're putting your own blocker up and blocking your own blessing by doing that. Stop saying in God's timing and claim it now. Now. Your healing, your salvation. Not later on down the road. Now. Because that's God's timing. Now. You have a need, go to the Lord about it. But after you go to the Lord about it, don't say it'll be done in God's timing. You're putting your blocker up. You're putting a wall up and you're keeping God from being able to bless you in the way that you need and in the way that He wants to. Hallelujah. I'm going to try to hush up now. Now when you go to the Lord with whatever it is that you're going through, this song here says, It's me again, Lord. I've got a prayer and I need an answer. Reach out and claim your answer. That's not part of what the song says, but this is me telling you what the Word of God says. Reach out and claim your answer. Because He already answered it before you even asked. God bless you.
goes you know with the cook's version with the cook's cd doesn't really fit my voice too awful well but i did have another version that's actually by michael Coles. but however this is a song that the cooks also sing and it says what a day that'll be now can you imagine exactly what it's going to be like when we get there no no clouds in the sky no tears no fear no hurt no saying goodbye to our loved ones. Just there, you know, for eternity, worshiping the Lord and fellowshipping with our family and our friends that went on to be with Jesus. Listen to the words of this song. And sing it with me if you know it. It's an older song. What a day that'll be. Upon his face, the one. 
that shines by far. You may live to be a hundred years old. But if you have not been saved, it will end with the grave. I want us to be together in heaven. I want us to be together in heaven. I want to walk down the streets of pure gold. I want to run through the fields of green clover. See the mansions, smell the flowers, hear the singing, it's all ours. See the river gently flowing, feel the gentle breezes blowing. I want us to be together in heaven. You know, I want to see each and every one of you in heaven today. So if there's anybody, if there's anybody watching that is unsaved, that doesn't know the Lord, I invite you to make an altar right where you're at. You feel the Holy Ghost tugging at your heart. You may be a millionaire wearing clothes beyond compare. You may have the best that money can buy. But if the blood is not applied, then in hell you lift your eyes. I want us to be together in heaven. I want us to be together in heaven. I want to walk down the streets of pure gold. I want to run through the fields of green clover. See the mansions, smell the flowers, hear the singing, it's all ours. See the river gently flowing, feel the gentle breezes blowing. I want us to be together in heaven. Praise God. Praise God. I want to see each and every one of you there. Hallelujah. That way we can have the reunion that this next song is talking about. I may not see you in person. I may not ever see you in person. But if you get saved tonight, if you ask Jesus into your look, into your heart and into your life tonight and ask him to be your King of Kings and Lord of Lords and most of all your Abba Father, then and ask him to forgive you of your sins and then turn from them, do a 180, do an about face as the uh, army says. An about face is not, you know, I'm going to put the mic down for a second. An about face is not doing a 360 where you turn around and you're back in the same spot that you was again. An about face is doing a 180, 
turn it around, facing the other direction, and marching the, uh, the direction that your commanding officer asks you to, or tells you to. That's an about face, and that's what God wants you to do. He wants you to do an about face and march in the direction that He's telling you to go, in the direction of righteousness, in the direction of blessing, in the direction of salvation. That's where God wants you to go. And let me tell you this. As simple as this. You, if you don't know how to pray, as simple as this. Talk to God just like I'm talking to you right now. I don't really believe in asking you know, people to bow their heads and repeat after me. No, I believe in saying what's on your heart. You tell God exactly what's on your heart because he, He's the one that's putting the words there. He's the one that's putting the words in your heart and into your mind for you to say. Not me, not anybody else. God. And it says, if you confess with your mouth and believe, it, and believe in your heart that Jesus died and rose again from the grave, then you're going to be saved. That's, I'm not, that's not exact wording. That's Samuel's hillbilly wording. I'm a West Virginia uh, city-fied hillbilly. That, that's West Virginia city-fied hillbilly version. That if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, then Jesus will save you. You have to ask him to forgive you and do an about face. Amen. Now, do that tonight. If you're not saved, I invite you. If you feel that Holy Ghost knocking on your heart's door tonight, that's what he does. He knocks on your heart. If you feel him knocking on your heart's door tonight, then answer the door. Answer the calling. I want to see you in that great family reunion. Each and every one of you, I want to see you there. It says, we'll have a reunion in heaven someday.
One day I shall go there Oh, won't you come to me? We'll have a reunion In heaven I'm sure On the streets of that sea By the river so blue There'll be such rejoicing At the end of the way We'll have a reunion In heaven someday There'll be such rejoicing At the end of the way He's at Brighter Day Ministry. It's a 7791 Nine Mile Road in LaSage, West Virginia. We have services Sundays at noon and Thursdays at 7 if you ever want to come out. Well, our pastor, Tony Mays, has been talking a lot about lately about getting back to praying, about turning our country and our world back to God. You know, this song here it says we need to get back to the old time way. The old time way that they used to, uh, people used to pray. God ain't changed and he's still the same. We need to get back to the old time ways that people used to preach and pray. Now, I, 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 don't get me wrong. I love the, you know, the new style of music. I love, you know, the contemporary music and all that stuff. I love it all. I don't think, you know, yeah, you know, I think honestly that the type of music that we use in our church needs to adhere somewhat to being able to reach the younger generation because a lot of the older music and a lot of southern music is not really reaching the younger generation no more. I'm 20, going on 27 years old. I was one of them that, I was one of the few of us in this age that's technically a quote unquote millennial that. Uh, was raised the old time way. So I, I love the old time worship. I love the old time preaching and all that stuff. And I think we need to get back to the old time preaching and the old time praying. As far as the music, though, I think we need to do music uh, that reaches the younger generation. We need to do something that reaches everyone. Like say this, this right here for the most part will reach you know, older people. I love this, but it's it's it, this right here will reach older people. I don't know how in the world I got off on this, but do something that reaches to the younger generation as well as the older generation. Amen. But back on topic, we need to turn our country and our world back to God. And you, if you haven't listened to the song by Reba, Reba McIntyre called Back to God, you should goes kind of right along the lines of this song. It says, we need to go back to the old time way, the way that we used to preach and pray. Now, the Word of God never changes, so you should never change the way that you preach as long as it's the Word of God. Was a little country church in a little country town where folks would hear the word. They would drive for miles around just to hear the old time preacher. And I'd always hear him say, Let's get back to the old time way. Let's get back to the days of old where people used to cry. 
songs that I know that I don't believe the singing cooks were the original ones that did it. I think it actually might have been the Freemans that did it originally, which they're actually some of uh, Jeanette's, they're actually some of the singing cooks' relatives on Jeanette's side. But uh, as a matter of fact, she is Daryl Freeman's aunt. But uh, anyway, this song here says, Jesus has conquered the grave. Listen to the words of it. On Golgotha's hill, our Savior was placed to save this world for his marvelous grace. And on that same hill, a battle was won, both sin and death were conquered there by God's only Son. And grave, where's your victory? And death, where's thy sting? Sin has been defeated by our blessed King. So when the fear of death on that final day, remember Jesus has conquered the grave. Now Lazarus was laid in a cold, dark tomb, but the giver of life would be there soon. Death's chains that bound him took away his life. Those chains were broken when Jesus said, Arise. Great, where's your victory? And death, where's thy sting? Sin has been defeated by our blessing. Conquer the grave when the 
earth that sweeps over you on that final day. Remember Jesus has conquered the grave. Jesus has conquered the grave. Amen. Now this next song here was on the Singing Cook's Heavenly Flight album. The song that, uh, a song that we did previously, um, I Want Us to Be Together in Heaven, that was on an album that they did back in the 90s. Um, Running My Last Mile Home, that was on that album. This one here says The King is Coming Back. Now this soundtrack version of it that I have is not the Singing Cook soundtrack version. It is actually a, uh, the version by a lady named uh, Vernell Allison. And, but uh, either way, it's still the same song that the Cooks sang on their album. And it was one of my favorites that I ever heard them sing and record. The King is Coming Back. Sorry about that. Let's see. 17, okay. Child, 
as we are known, we'll rest beneath the tree of life with love like hide and seek, ready or not, here I come. Only you're not really hiding from him no matter how hard you try. He's coming back. Amen. Let's see. Which one was it? This next song here is one that's very, they're all very near and dear to my heart. But this one especially. This is one that I did at my dad's funeral. So, obviously, for an obvious reason, I don't sing this one much at all. I forget which album it was on. There's two of the songs that I forget which of the singing cooks album that it was on. This one, and I Will Rise Up From My Grave. I don't remember what albums that they were on. Uh, but this is a song that I sang at my dad's funeral. So it's, it's really hard for me to sing. Pray for me to make it through it, because it, it's been a while. Earth's loss is heaven's gain. If you have a loved one that's gone on to be with the Lord, remember this. Register here the sign reads in the parlor. The song was his request for me to sing. I stopped and told the family how I loved him. I wasn't sorry the dead angel came. And I wasn't all the friends that brought by. It didn't matter. The sermon was preached after a sing. All the flowers that were sent, he didn't need them. What earth lost yesterday? Child, welcome home forever. 
see my dad again, to see my great grandma again, to see all the other loved ones that knew Jesus that went on before again. Thank God I have that chance and I'm going to go through with it. Amen. This next song here is another one. I don't really remember what album it was on, but it's another one that the singing cooks did. It says, I will rise up from my grave. This version right here is actually by Kevin Spencer. But the scene cooks also did this song. It was written by apparently Jack and Gail Tony. But listen to the words of this song. It says, I will rise up from my grave. Now let me clarify something. Something that Pastor Tony uh, revealed the other day that kind of makes sense. Okay, most people when they think that, you know, we're going to rise up from the grave, we think that we're going to rise up, you know, that our bodies are going to rise up out of the graveyard. That's not what it says. Well, what need, and he brought up a good point, what need would Jesus have with reassembling this old flesh, this old shell, to go and be with him? That would be pointless now, wouldn't it? The Bible says that when we rise, we're going to have a new body. We won't need this old shell to come together. It says that we're, what he's meaning is we're going to break apart our soul is going to break apart from this old shell. And we're going to have that new body. That doesn't mean that this old body is going to 
rise up. If you're standing in the middle of the graveyard looking for a bunch of skeletons, looking for a bunch of uh, bodies to start coming up out of the ground, then um, you're going to be standing there alone. You're going to be standing there alone because that's not how it's going to happen. Our souls are going to be taken up to be with Jesus and it's probably not going to be visible to the naked eye. Anyway, I'll rise up when we meet Jesus. We're going to rise up from the grave. We're going to rise up out of this whole flesh to meet Jesus. This next two, though, let me get a drink of water first. This next two, I'm going to do a cappella simply because there is no soundtracks out there to them, at least not that I know of. This one here says, When I Crossed That River. This was actually a little tidbit. The very first, let me give you a a backstory of how I got into singing music for the Lord. The very first time that I got up to sing anywhere was when I was three years old. I also got saved at the age of three, very shortly after. But the first time I ever got up in public to sing was at three years old. I had a little toy karaoke machine and it was at a singing cook's concert. And we were at the side of the stage the singing coach concert was at the Singing in the Valley in Hurricane, West Virginia. I, I regret that we weren't able to have that this year due to the stupid COVID. But uh, anyway, uh, it was at the Singing in the Valley in Hurricane, West Virginia. 
And Sister Jeanette Cook, you know, I've been singing along with the songs all through the concert. Sister Jeanette Cook, near the end of the concert, looked at me, looked over at me, and she said, Man, brother, man, little boy, why don't you go ahead and get on up here? Little brother, why don't you go ahead and get on up here? She said, why don't you sing this song with me? She said, I've been hearing you and looking at you sing all through the service. Why don't you get up here and sing this song with me? First song I ever sang was with the singing cooks out in public. It was with the singing cooks, and it was Amazing Grace. You know, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. It was that song. And then, just shortly after that, I got saved. And I've been singing now. Oh, Lord, have mercy. December the 13th will make. I've been, I've been singing now for 24 years. And I've been saved now for 24 years. I forget exactly what date that was that I started singing. I know it was sometime in the beginning of October. Because that's when they always do those uh, those singings, those concerts, is usually the first or second Thursday in October. But uh, now I got saved on December 13th. It was at a revival at a church called Grace Gospel Lighthouse. It was in Milton, West Virginia. Uh, it was over in Milton, West Virginia. The church, unfortunately, no, no longer stands. The building, unfortunately, no, no longer stands. But that's where I got saved at, and I got started singing in uh, Hurricane, West Virginia. But after that night of me singing, and after I got saved, you want to know what the very first song that I sang was? was after Amazing Grace, you know, outside of the Singing Cooks concert, the very first song that I sang was at that same revival that I got saved in. Matter of fact, I think the next night, and it was this song right here. Many hills. And many valleys, these old tired feet have trod. And so often I have wondered, would they reach heaven side? Oh, but I, I found the answer when I stepped in Jordan stream. And when I crossed that river, it was worth it all to me. And when I crossed that river, it was worth it all to me. All the beauties of heaven before my eyes I could see. There stands Jesus and there's mom and dad. They've been waiting for me when I crossed that river, it was worth it all to me. Now I've changed from rags to a robe of white, and my shoes, they're made of gold. A glorious street, the Lord is leading me. All is new, there's nothing old. We've just stopped. Before my mansion, my name's inscribed above the door. Just today it was completed, and now I live here forevermore. And when I cross that river, it was worth it all to me. All the beauties of heaven before my eyes I could see. There stands Jesus, and there's Mom and Dad. They've been waiting for me when I crossed that river. It was worth it all to me. And when I crossed that river, it was worth it all to me, all the beauties of heaven before my eyes I could see. There stands Jesus and there's mom and dad. They've been waiting for me when I crossed that river. 
it was worth it all to me. Hallelujah. 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 Another song. That song was actually on several of the Singing Cooks albums, but the most memorable one to me that it was on was their uh, 40th anniversary DVD. I was there that night, and we were, me and my family, you know, well, actually, my, me and my grandma were actually in that video. We weren't on the stage or nothing, but uh, we were in that video. If any of you have that, I'm the little, I'm the uh, boy, probably, I think I was maybe about 12, 11 or 12 years old at that time. I'm the little boy that it, uh, that it went on a few times that had the yellow long sleeve shirt on. Now, I forget exactly what the shirt said. But uh, it's a bright, bright yellow shirt, long sleeve shirt, and but uh, that that's me. And then my grandma's kind of catty cornered a little bit behind me. But uh, but anyway, if y'all if any of y'all have that, yeah, that's me. But uh, that was filmed on Bath Avenue in Ashland, Kentucky. At their 40th anniversary. As a matter of fact, the same day, that's the same day that my mom and dad got remarried. They married, my mom and dad married this, married two times, and when they remarried the second time, it was that day, and then that concert was that night. But, uh, yeah, we were blessed to be there in that taping. I thank God for that. This next song here is another one that I'm going to do acapoco, because I don't have a soundtrack to it. But, and I uh, don't really rightly remember where my CD to it is. But this one here is another one that I used to do years ago. And it's one that I started out doing. It's not the very first one that I did, you know, like when I crossed that river. The very first one that I did outside of the concert, like when I crossed that river. But it is one of the songs that I did in the early years and I still do now. It says, City Limits of Heaven. You want to make it to heaven? You want to make it to heaven? Then you need to make the changes that God says that you need to make. Some wonderful day We're leaving for glory Going where time And eternity meets We may see a sign City limits of heaven Prepare for a change to enter the gates. This city is pure. There's nothing but happiness. The presence of Christ abounds everywhere. On top of the hill and down by the river. Someday I will join that heavenly choir. We'll leave all our cares and our earthly possessions. The burdens of life and the times we have cried. Not even the house or the body we live in. We'll have to change clothes while on the outside. I'm ready to claim a wardrobe in heaven tailored for me. And it's just the right size. Gonna dress like a king and walk with the angels. Good morning up there, and never goodbye. This city is pure, there's nothing but happiness. The presence of Christ abounds everywhere. On top of the hill, and down by the river. Someday I will join that heavenly choir. Someday I will join that heavenly choir. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, we're almost done for the night. I don't want to leave this service without singing a couple of songs for Thanksgiving. I'd like to say this song here is called You Have Been Good. Sorry, You Have Been Good by the McCainies. And this song here is it's, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Listen to the words of it. And as I said earlier, if you have something that you're thankful for, then please leave it in the comments. If you have something, you know, that you need us to pray about, please leave it in the comments. You can message you can message us on the Walk on Water message board. You can uh, message me personally, Samuel Hagley, if you want it to remain, you know, more personal. And it's just me seeing it. Because there's, there's one other person that sees your that can see your messages on Walk on Water, and that's my mom, because she's also an admin on here. But, uh, uh, if you want to just, you know, just be me and you, send that, send the message directly to me. My name is Samuel Hagley. Uh, and, or if you want to make it for everybody to know, leave it in the comments there. Anyway, if you have been blessed by God, no matter what it is, if it's something big or something small and you want to tell about it, make that known in the comments. The song here says that you have been good, God's been good. <laughs> As a pounding home of you, Lord, you have been so faithful, so loving, kind, and true. Every morning, your mercies are new. You have been good. You have been good. your generosity, the riches of your mercy, the wonders of your grace, my voice cries out in endless praise, you have been good, you have been good, more than I could ever dream. situation is, whatever's going on, 
and my grandmother's body. I'll find that out here in just a little bit. Whatever's going on in her body, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that you heal her. Lord God, reach down your healing hand and heal her in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Last song we're going to sing for tonight says that we have so much to thank Him for. You know, I thank God that through this whole tough year, and it's been a tough year for absolutely everyone, I thank God for that through this whole tough year, 2020, that I'm just about glad it's over. I'm glad it's just about over. That God's still been good. There's still been a lot of good come, come out of this year. I got, got with my fiance this year and got engaged this year. Reconnected with some folks this year. So that's been great. But in many other ways, this year has been rough. And I thank God. I thank God that he brought me through it. I thank him for all of the good things and all of the blessings that I still can't even count. Amen. Listen to the words of this song. And God bless you. We're going to go ahead and pray a prayer of dismissal. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to dismiss. We'll just say, uh, uh, we'll just say, uh, till next time. But uh, this is our uh, our dismissal song. Please wait until the end of this song to uh, go off the video because I would like for you to hear the whole song. But. Uh, Anyway, guys, I'd like for you to hear the whole song. We've got so much to thank the Lord for. Please sing along with me if you know it. Oh, my mom needs prayer. Okay, she...
Be safe until the next time, and God keep you until the next time. And happy Thanksgiving.